Hi, it's Zoe DeLuca here from MarkandZoe.com and the hot topic today in social media marketing is all of the changes that have just occurred over on Facebook with Facebook pages. So what has changed with Facebook pages and how do you navigate these? A lot of you, if you're an admin for a page, you would have received an email with the new changes. And so everybody knows your page on Facebook is primarily where businesses are interacting. They're originally set up for bands and actors and other public figures to promote themselves on Facebook while still allowing the individual to have a profile. If you have a look at my profile, that's where you and your friends go in and interact. You, um, you have your personal photo, you have your personal information, personal conversations. But when it comes to promoting your business on Facebook, you really should have what I call a brand page. So a page for your brand, whether that be the individual or business that you're promoting. And today those pages have changed quite dramatically. So first I'm going to go through a few of the changes with you tell you some things so far that I think are great and some that I'm not so impressed with um, but how you can adapt around those and I'm sure coming out in the next few weeks is going to be a lot more on these. The other thing I will say is our friends over at Mashable have done a wonderful article today on Facebook launches pages redesign. Uh, we will put a link below the video on my blog post as well to the Mashable post but if you go to Mashable.com and search for Facebook launches pages redesign it's all stepped out there nicely with links for you as well. Okay so what does that mean for us? If you didn't get uh, the email first of all there is another way to go in and have a look at the changes and it's by going to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash status or if you log into your Facebook account under your personal profile so the way you normally had you'll notice now if you go over to account and for any page admins you used to be able to go to account and go to manage pages what you'll now see under the account setting is the third line down says use Facebook as page. Now if you left click on this one what it then does is change your entire user experience on Facebook so that you're now operating as your page. You get to choose the page that you want to interact as and I'm going to go in in my individual one and click switch. This is on my Zoe DeLuca page. Now not to confuse you too much I use the page as Mark and Zoe and because um, I am my own brand as well as far as being a social media specialist then my page will still have Zoe DeLuca here but this is actually my business page okay now once you've made that switch and I will tell you you've got uh, a few weeks to play with this but as of the 10th of March the intention is for Facebook to change all of the pages over to this new format okay so once you've made the switch you will get a short tour and run through it says you are now using Facebook as Zoe DeLuca but as I said don't let that confuse you that is my business page and if you click start tour it says you'll get notifications on your activity under here then it jumps across to the other side and it tells you receive notifications when people interact with your page or posts and it's posts on your page that sounds kind of great I've been wanting a way for to know what's happening with my page more easily the next step if you click continue then tells you to search for people that have liked your page. Um, step three is keep up with other pages you've liked through the news feed. And this is really important. I'll show you in a minute. But when you come to home, it will be your pages that you've liked that you'll see in your news feed rather than the friends that you've connected with as it was previously on your profile. And the last hint they give you is account. Under account, you can go back to use Facebook as yourself anytime. Just click account and select your name. So I'm going to finish the tour. You can go through that yourself. But what they were saying there is if you don't like this at the moment, you simply come back down here and go switch back to Zoe. Now if I switch back to Zoe, I will be interacting as me on my personal profile as I've always done on Facebook. But for the moment I'm going to stay as Zoe DeLuca, my business page, and you'll see the difference in the photo because it has Mark and myself on the photo. The first thing you'll notice is this now looks very much like a profile, like the new profile design. There's lots of photos across the top. So I do encourage you um, to be adding some more photos to your page if you haven't already done that. I've seen a lot of pages today that have switched across to the new design and they don't have, they might have one or two photos at the top that looks a little bit tacky. And there are some other posts around how to optimize those photos and I'll be playing with those as well to give my page a really, really nice professional look. You'll notice now that what's down here is all on my page and it's all of my page links. 
and most importantly when you see all it's the pages that I like so my likes are the pages that I have gone and liked rather than it showing the people that I have agreed to be friends with does that make sense now the plus here is that if I start posting it's going to be as my page but if I then navigate to somewhere else on here if I can get rid of that for you. Um, over on the right, top right hand side you'll see it now has admins. If you choose to display that as a page admin you may or may not want to do that. Have the option to switch back and use Facebook just as me and I also have some ways to promote my page and view insights. If I then go home where previously that would then have put me back into my profile and I would have seen my newsfeed and I would have seen all of my friends interacting now what I get to see is all of the pages that I've liked interacting. So you'll see some great training there from Annie Infinite, um, Didi Elchiva, and if you go through the news feed, all of a sudden it's all pages. It's all pages and looking very professional. What's really interesting now is the ones you see first are the ones that have the most interactivity, which in a way still occurred on the profile, but of course now this is all on the pages. The only time you will get to see an individual in this now news feed for your page is if they have left the security settings wide open and it's listed as everyone. You can still go into your account and change your settings and um, I have a few extra applications here don't let that confuse you too much but you know if I now post here and I'll do it making video on new Facebook page changes uploading soon. If I now click the share button and see this is a share button on my news feed where before it would have done a status update for my profile it is now going to post as my page and it will go into the news feed to the people that have liked my page. I'm sharing then the information with the pages that I have liked. So while it's great to think I can now get notifications just like you used to get notifications when your friends posted or tagged you in a photo or posted on your wall, I can get those notifications sent to me when people make those same interactions on my page but only if I'm in here interacting as my page. Unfortunately what hasn't really occurred is a complete integration. What I, what I would love to be able to do is go back to my personal profile, see all of my friends interacting but share their posts and comment on their information as the page administrator. So that really hasn't occurred. We've duplicated or Facebook have duplicated their new profile in the pages design you can now step into your admin role as a page and interact on Facebook as the page but you can't really cross interact between your profile and your page so if you're looking to still comment on family and friends then you really need to be going back into your account switching back to use to using Facebook as the individual simple left click and that will occur it is some um, exciting news. It does show to me that Facebook is really serious about encouraging businesses to use pages and promote professionally. It will um, prevent a lot of people, I think, from spamming too much on the personal profiles because you have greater access now to be going into your pages. But there are still a lot of instances where you will need to be logging into your page as the admin and posting from your page. We haven't yet got that seamless integration. Now, if you're an admin on a lot of pages and you like the new changes and I really do suggest you know Facebook is never static and if you're seeing that today going it's all too confusing it's all too much rather than putting it off until the 10th of March when you're forced to change get in there now and play with it get used to it be asking me questions by all means stop by and see us over on facebook.com forward slash mark and Zoe so m-a-r-k-a-n-d-z-o-e I'll happily answer all of your questions under the video or over at the blog at markandzoe.com that's what we love to do um, is keep up with all these changes in social media so you don't have to do your head in doing them. If you want to change all of your pages and you're an admin on a lot of pages then you can go to facebook.com forward slash pages forward slash status and upgrade all pages at once. It's probably a more advanced tactic. And there is a lot of information in pages, it's in Facebook itself rather, explaining the new changes, there's more to come, there's a video step through, there's already a manual sitter there, and look, 
at the end of the day there are so many sensational social media um, managers, strategists and specialists that are sharing information on Facebook. It's never static. There's a huge community of people that are prepared to help you. If in doubt, go up the top and search on Facebook itself or head over to trusty old Google. Otherwise, stop by our page, facebook.com forward slash Mark and Zoe. I'd love your feedback. Do you like the new changes? Have you played with them yet? Um, have you found some things that maybe I haven't unearthed yet? I'd love you to share. See you on the page and have an awesome day.